Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. Today I'm sharing a few cards using Honeybee Stamps B Bliss Collection. I love pattern paper, so I really wanted to focus on some of the beautiful designs from Honeybee Stamps. I'm using a card sketch for inspiration. This is from Sugar Pea Designs. It's Sugar Sketch number 44. This is such a fun design. It looks a bit complicated, but it's actually very easy to use. For the background, I selected two different pattern papers. The polka dot paper is four inches by two and five eighths of an inch. And for that upper piece, it doesn't have to be the full four inches across since it will be covered up. So I was able to use a smaller scrap. It's still two and five eighths inch wide though. For that angled element, this is where I like to use my featured pattern paper. So I decided to use this darling little bee paper. I cut the paper to three and a half inches wide and I am layering it on some black cardstock. Then I put adhesive on the back, lay that piece on the card at an angle. I flip over my card front, use my scissors to trim off the extra. It's an easy way to create this fun design for your card. For the sentiment on the card, I'm using the big buzzword stamp and coordinating honeycut die set. So I've already cut out the word big. I use a light pink for the main word. That first outline, I use some vellum and then the very background with that pierced design, I use some white shimmer cardstock. I'll glue all of the layers together using Honeybee Stamps liquid adhesive. When I'm adding the glue on the backside of the vellum, I'm trying to make sure to only get it behind the pink cardstock. Sometimes you can see the liquid adhesive through the vellum. Although the advantage of gluing this piece onto the white cardstock, it's not quite as visible if you do end up with just a little bit of the glue showing. I decided to pop up the sentiment. I'm using the thin foam strips from Honeybee Stamps. This is one of my favorite foam dimension. They're easy to cut and it's super sticky. Sometimes I even have problems getting that release paper to release. So then I'll add the word big in place of that circle on the sketch. There is a little banner that comes out of the left side on the sketch, but I won't be adding that. One thing that's fun about using card sketches, you don't have to follow them exactly. You really can just use them for inspiration. I've stamped out the rest of the sentiment and cut this out. So it'll be, you're a big deal. For a fun embellishment on the card, I'm using Honeybee Stamps Whimsical Spring Flower Honeycut Die Set. Already cut out all of the pieces. I have the flowers in a pretty teal. Then I use a lighter teal, more of a blue color for the leaves and also some of the white shimmer cardstock. I'll add a center to a couple of the larger flowers using this mustard yellow color that matches the B pattern paper. For that tiny white piece in the center of the flower, I did use an embellishment wand to pick it up since it is super small. I'll pop up all of the flowers using some thin foam dimension. I'll put three flowers in the upper right hand corner and two of them in the lower left hand corner. Once the flowers are in place, I'll start adding all of the little leaves. The little teal tray that I have the flowers and leaves in is the lid for the chamois case from Honeybee Stamps. And I do have a link for that in the description box below. It's very useful for holding all these small die cuts and it also works great for loose embellishments. Once the flowers are adhered down, I can start adding the leaves. And on some of the leaves, I do trim off that very end stem, just so it's easier to tuck underneath the flower. I don't want it sticking out too far. I have just a few more of these leafy branches to adhere in the lower left-hand corner. Then to finish off the card, I'll add a few lovely gem stickers from Honeybee Stamps. This is their newest color, Aurora Borealis, and these are so pretty. I added one of the gem stickers to the center of the smaller flower. And there is my finished card. I did make two using this design. I love all the beautiful patterns in the Bee Bliss collection. And the Happy Bee pattern paper with the pink flowers is one of my favorites. Now moving on to card design number two. The card sketch is from MFT. This is number 174. 
I used some craft cardstock for the background and added this beautiful detail using the Lazy Daisy Pierced A2 cover plate. I put some ATG tape on the back and also some liquid adhesive along that very outside edge. With all that pierced detail, I want to make sure that it stays in place. This blue cardstock does have a pearlescent finish. Then I'll put some more ATG tape on the back of this piece, adhere my card front onto a card base. And all of my cards in this video are American Standard A2 size, four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. For the small banner that goes across the card, I'm using the same blue cardstock, just the back side where it doesn't have that pearlescent finish. I cut a fishtail on both ends. I put some liquid adhesive on the back and was ready to attach it to my card, then remembered I need to add my pattern paper square first. I selected a dark blue polka dot paper for the background, decided to round all four of the corners, and I put liquid adhesive on the back to adhere that in place. Now I can add my blue banner. For the small circles on this sketch, I'll be using this adorable bee pattern paper. The individual bees are the perfect size. I used a small circle die to cut those out. So I have one bee facing the right, one bee facing the left, and the circle in the middle is where I'll be adding a sentiment. I selected the word hello from the small card big hug stamp set. And I just stamped that using the Juniper Mist ink color from Catherine Pooler. I am popping up all three of the circles using some thin foam dimension. I've already added it to the back of the bees and now I'll put some on the back of the hello sentiment. I have the two bee circles laid down loosely, then I can get the placement correct for the word hello. Now I'll remove the release paper for the two B's and adhere all of those circles in place. For final finishing touch, I'll add some more of the Aurora Borealis gem stickers. I'll put two in the lower right hand corner, one by the sentiment and two in the upper left hand corner. So there is my finished card and again I did make two using this design. Overall, this is a very simple design. I love the extra detail from the pierced die for the background. And if you don't like to color images, it's always fun to feature a little bit of pattern paper instead. The bees on this pattern paper were perfect for this sketch. Now moving on to card design number three. The card sketch is from MFT. This is number 230. I have this really fun pattern paper for the background, has sort of a geometric, maybe even a floral design. I'll be layering it on some dark teal cardstock. For the rectangle in the center with the rounded corners, I decided to use solid cardstock. I don't want to mix too many pattern papers together. I selected another favorite pattern paper from the Be Bliss collection. The white daisies are so pretty with that teal background. I used the Terrific Tags die set to cut out this fun scallop tag. I used some white shimmer cardstock for the die cut that goes around the whole of the tag. And I did pop up this tag using some of the thin foam strips. I'll remove the release paper and adhere my tag on the right side. It is a little bit shorter than the tag that's indicated on the card sketch. I've already stamped out the sentiment. This is from Honeybee Stamps Birthday Wishes set. I hope your birthday is filled with all of your favorite things. That's one of my favorite sentiments on that set. I'll cut a fishtail on both sides. I'll be adhering the sentiment on top of that tag. And since I do have the tag popped up with foam dimension, I'll need to add some foam dimension on the back side of the sentiment as well. So I'm holding it up to the tag. I have it flipped over so I know exactly where to add my foam dimension. Remove my release paper, put a little bit of ATG tape in the center and adhere my sentiment in place. Using some teal and white twine, I decided to add a bow to the top of the tag. I have two small pieces and I decided to tie a double bow. Just trim off the ends. And I'll put a small glue dot on the back side of the knot and adhere that in place. The card sketch has a small circle going on the very left side of the tag. Now I'll be changing that up a bit. 
Instead of a circle, I'll be adding two small hearts. And the heart die is from Honeybee Stamps Mugs and Kisses Honeycut Die Set. I cut both of them out of the same dark teal cardstock. One of the hearts will be sort of tucked in behind the tag. And since I already have that tag adhered in place, I wasn't able to really sneak it underneath. So instead I just trimmed off the very right side of that heart. The second heart will sit on top. I put some foam dimension on the very left side and liquid adhesive on the right side. Then to finish off the card, I'll use some more of the Aurora Borealis gem stickers. Two in the lower left hand corner and one on the right side of that top heart. So there is my finished card and again I did make two using this design. The teal and golden yellow colors look so pretty together. Now here's another look at the six cards I made using Honeybee Stamps B Bliss 6x6 paper pad. There are so many fun different techniques for card making, but sometimes I really just want to use some pretty pattern paper. If you are interested in any of the products I use in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.